Hi, this is Atul Kaspeka and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. Well, the man who's primarily associated with the sexy uh, calendar uh, photo shoots uh, and now he's getting into uh, a f his first movie production that and that to like a serious subject and a, and a realistic subject, real life uh, subject uh, called Neerja based on uh, the life of uh, Braveheart and Neerja Bhanot. Uh, Atul Kazbekar, huge player to have you on Borodangama first of all. Thank you. And many would say that it's a that you're primarily associated with the calendar, Kingfisher calendars and uh, the, the entire bikini mode uh, as far as Mostly, primarily. So, why why are you just getting into movie production and that too with, with a very serious subject? Um, well, I mean, I've you been could have had like more glamorous stuff. I've been shooting advertising photography for more than twenty years. Mm. From I mean, um, uh, one has become world famous in India because of the Kingfisher calendar. But <laughs> world famous in India. <laughs> <yeah>. India. <laughs> but there have been a lot more shoots. I mean, from Pepsi through Coke to uh, you know Tag Heuer, Omega, mm. and so on and so forth that I've shot for a really long time. And um, and then uh, along with uh, uh, three other partners, we started a celeb management company. Bling. Bling in Bling, yes. And um, you know, one of the logical progressions that happened was you're dealing with so many people mm. in the film space because you're uh, you know working out deals for your stars in the movies and so on. So w we were inherently close to the business. You could see a lot that was going on. Mm. And but how Nirja happened was actually a series of interesting events that sort of. I think we are upar wale ne bola tha ki ye picture banni hai kind of thing. Mm. Um, so one of my partners, Shanti, uh, brought Simon Quadras, who is a writer of Mericom. Correct. To be fair, Mericom had not released, so it's not like we were saying let's take the hit writer of a hit film. Mm. Okay, it was a seven pager uh, which I thought was very interesting. I think I was one of the few people uh, that knew who Nirja Banot was, mostly because she was a model before my time. I was studying in the U.S. when the Pan American hijacking happened. So America, of course, you know how they go completely insane if something happens with their people, which is good. And so I was familiar with the project. I said, this is very interesting. So we met Simon and told him that, look, if we get the rights from the family, we'll option your script and buy it from you. Right. And he was very uh, cool about it. And we, uh, I, I connected with the Banot family. And uh, so, you know, Shanti and I went and met them and we uh, chatted. And for some strange reason, which I will never understand why, they let us have the rights. Mm. So, have you picture of your picture? So he said, you know, about 30 people have asked us so far since Nirja passed away and we've never said yes. So I said, okay. They said, but we'll give it to you. So I said, why? See, my mother said, you look like an honest chap. So, uh, so you know, so I think it started for us the journey with a lot of trust from a lot of people. And I wanted to make sure that Bling made a movie that gave us a lot of street credibility. Mm. We could have used the goodwill that we have, you know, for years of making lots of money for lots of people to work out, you know, some kind of happy film and, uh, you know, which would have been commercially easier to market. But we figured if we pull off a difficult subject that people will look at us and say, you know what, this was not easy and they managed to pull it off. So the street credibility that we would get in production circles would be tremendous. That was the general simple idea. Sonam is part of Blink. So, is it is was it like a natural progression that you had Sonam, or you felt that she is she suits the you know, character? Honestly okay. speaking, she was the first choice and the only choice for us. Mm. A, she looks like Nija. Okay. Two, um, what we had told her was, see, you know what? We'll put a project together for you, and you'll have the right of first refusal. But we are putting it together with you in mind. Mm. So, of course, the only reason Sonam wouldn't have done the project is if Sonam declined the project. Mm. You know. And uh, luckily for us, uh, uh, and I think, I hope the movie is a success, in which case it will be luckily for her, uh, all parties said yes. Then it came to, you know, a, a director and uh, uh, so all those factors came in and Ram Madhwani has been an old friend for more than 20 years. His career in uh, as an ad filmmaker started shortly before mine. In fact, I've done an ad for him as well, long, long back. So we've been friends ever since. Okay. And uh, he, um, so I called him, you know, and he's been trying to put together, which you might have known, you know, movies for a long time. Yeah, he's, he's made Let's Talk and Talisman yeah, never released. Let's Talk, I still think is more like a... Uh, Experimental and... Yeah, and it's more like a play with three characters, which has come to life on video. I do, it, like, Let's Talk to me doesn't really seem like a commercial uh, film from any angle. Only to guy me, who benefited was Bamane Rani. Bamane Rani has done maximum. one of the 10 best acting performances mm. in in Indian film history in Let's Talk. Right. And, and he got, I think, Munnamai because of that. He got Munnamai because of that. Right. So, Baman's life actually went into a complete uh, uh, upward swing sure. uh, after that. But 
uh, Ram came to the picture. He's made some amazing ad films, and I've always believed that there's a deep emotional quotient that he'd be able to capture. Because to us, this was more than more than a thriller, mm. and it's also an extremely intense mother-daughter equation, which is really wonderful. And uh, you know, and he agreed, and we all the pieces fell in. Once the promo came out, uh, many of the senior journalists, uh, in fact, hardcore political journalists, have, I've been I've been noticing that they have tweeted about it. Generally, they don't. They, right. they, tw- they don't right. tweet links of uh, including of, of cricketers promo. and including politicians and including all exactly. Of people, yeah. So, um, did that uh, was was that a heartening feel for you? Because if, if if within a certain certain section of the society is reacting to it in in, in a certain manner, I'm sure that that must be. I, I, th- I think it was extremely positive. I think uh, it's uh, you know it, it it's actually a testimony to I guess you know some goodwill that I've earned uh, for so many years mm. of uh, of photography, and a lot of it I have to tell you is completely unsolicited. It's not like yeah, phone karke bola ki sir, tweet karo please. Now what happens I feel on social media is now the public doesn't take industry praise seriously anymore mm. because everybody says good things about everybody. You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah, so you know when you have an unusual exactly. thing where you have an Omar Abdullah tweeting. That's why I didn't uh, talk about the industry part because that is yeah, like a patting on yeah. the back. Everyone does uh-huh. it. So that is. So so I think even um, our our co-producers, Foxstar, were uh, quite amazed by the response. Mm. Uh, you know, I don't think a trailer in recent times has unanimously got such a good response. Even mm. if I say so myself, it's been quite amazing. Right. Uh, now this is your first product. Right. My phone's ringing off the hook by all those people wanting to see the movie early. <laughs> yes, yeah, same. I, I, I'll be one of them. Honestly Chalo. speaking, and uh, you know, honestly speaking, I've not tweeted about some of the biggest movies, but I've been shamelessly talking about the fact that this is one film that I'm eagerly looking forward to. Thank you. So honestly, now, uh, in fact, ph- photography and uh, ad filmmaking. So all these are, I, I think, lucrative uh, propositions. Uh, Movies are not movies. Movies yeah. are, are, a, are a hell lot of. Uh, I have no, no idea what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, how how confident are you of of just taking this this plunge forward and what are your future plans after this uh we have about four or five different projects that we want to, that, that we want to talk about but right now we focus completely on uh, on asia because i think our concentration needs to be like 110% on this right. um but um all the others are being developed in the same way we mm. just want to make something ground up our personal theory is that people who've been weaned in the industry since birth and they don't know anything else have also made flops what's the worst that can happen mm. we'll make a movie that doesn't work right but we'll just make it on our terms mm. on stories we would like to tell so there are all kinds of different genres there's uh, like a musical space there's a uh, um, an action comedy space there's all kinds of uh, um, you, you know subjects so it's not like we'll only make biopics or anything like that okay I think three movies are simultaneously releasing on on 19th of of right. February. Um so how are you looking at the at, at the screen counting because that is a, a very crucial thing these days. Um I think uh, what Fox wants to do is to it's the same creative producer who had worked on Barfi. I have a lot of regard for Rucha Pathak and uh, they'd followed uh, uh, a certain screen count that worked very well for Barfi and um, essentially I think it will be the same thing. You know Ab Tere Bin Laden 2 and Love Shuda are, are totally different genres of uh, of film. I'm not sure how much would overlap. Would have been nice if we were the only people. Mm. Uh, but the subsequent weekend, I think, is empty. So, so should be should be good. So, w- what sort of screen count are, are, are you looking at? I think it will be uh, under 1200, about 1200 ish. About 1200. Okay, yeah. Fox are they've had some some rough weather in terms of uh, several of the movies. We'll make the money on this one. You sure about that? Yeah. Okay. recent times so we we've had this movie called Calendar Girls which uh, with I think Rohit Roy's character was roughly I think uh, based on 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 you and it was I haven't Calendar. seen the film to be honest you haven't seen the film yeah. okay so, so um, is, is is it flattering if if a movie is made made and like uh, you become synonymous with I guess so yeah we must mm. have done something right that uh, uh, you know as uh, in in the beginning I remember when you know the Gautam Rajadeksha was my mentor Mm. and he once uh, he was one of the reasons i got into photography and gautam told me if they don't ever talk about you that's when you should be worried 
Mm. So I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> so right. So uh, can can you share some experience of of uh, shooting this specifically this this Kingfisher calendar because uh, it has become synonymous with, in terms of glamour with with the industry and uh, many of the uh, the calendar girls they, they've gone on to become uh, big actors. Big stars, uh, yes. Deepika has been there. there. There have been many examples. Yeah. Uh, so how do you look at that that journey? I'm really happy with the way that turned out because you know there's lots of interesting factors to it. One is that it was completely my idea. Mm. to do a combination of sports illustrated and pirelli so pirelli the calendar has been on for 50 plus years and you cannot buy it mm. it's only sent from the desk of the chairman of pirelli tires mm. and that sports illustrated is a swimsuit thingy and it's available freely mm. uh, pirelli is women it's not swimsuit so i said let's do a swimsuit calendar that you cannot acquire and only the you know it could go from the desk of someone really important i had a list of one which was vijay malia mm. and uh, i thought if anyone has the personality to carry this off Mm. was him and the kingfisher beer brand so uh, before i could finish my presentation to which i had prepared in front of a mirror for half an hour in 10 minutes he says damn good idea uh, we go for it mm. and we shot so the first edition had uh, you know nobody agreed to do it they said yeah swimsuit alcohol brand at that time you know for it was very sleazy it mm. looked a little tacky at that time but right. you know nothing i do would i'd like to think ever be tacky so mm. we they have taken great care to make sure that the women look beautiful mm. you know and um, uh, so i had to ask everybody who agreed was basically an nri or you know so shivani kapoor who had come from london uh, yana gupta who had come from the czech republic mm. katrina kaif who had come from england so they were tuned into working like this so they were okay all the girls over here from dipanita sharma to sheetal malar etc whoever were the top models at the time mm. all declined they said nahi yaar atul we love you but we can't do this mm. which is okay you know mm. and uh, so and the only thing vijay said to me is was just make sure that nobody is embarrassed getting the calendar so we shot and since then i mean we've had katrina yana uh, deepika uh, angela johnson isha gupta nargis fakri uh, lots of people there been about 10 12 big no, names no, no, absolutely um, now in, in so fact everyone sees it like a springboard to uh, spotlight so this year for example watch out for aisha sharma hmm. who is neha's sister Mm. Neha Sharma's sister. Neha Sharma's sister. Okay. Yeah, she's beautiful and she's stunning in the calendar. I'll give you a copy. And no, uh, absolutely. And uh, I know Neha very well and and uh, we've we've seen in her interacting with Aisha a lot. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And mm. uh, the other one is a girl called Maya Hendrix who's stunning as well. She's half Indian, half American and she's beautiful. Very nice. In fact, I still remember we had done a feature on uh, Deepika when it came up because Om Shanti Amma had been announced and we did a uh, feature based on the pictures, King Fisher calendar pictures. Uh, there's a lot of uh, grace in the way uh, it is even in term it is glamorous at the same time as you rightly said it's never tacky now what is a thin line dividing between uh, you know what some may call it as obscene or vulgar and classy i think it's the uh, aesthetics of the photographer to mm. be honest and the team that we use okay we are deeply respectful to uh, women and i have been a co-founder with farhan akhtar on mard which we founded together right so to give you a little bit of background on that front and uh, more importantly you know i think we've done our job to some uh, to a certain extent well, i'll give you an interesting thing that um debu mukherjee was one of the heads of coke mm. and he's a good friend of mine he told me he says you know don't take too much credit and let your head swell up too much but you guys have been un- unwittingly been responsible for a sociological change in the psyche of indian women he said before the calendar and i had not realized this he pointed out he said before the calendar came out in 2003 mm. it was only the bad girl who wore a bikini and she was the vamp and she was the one the hero should stay away from Mm-hmm. is it after 2003 to now every single a list actress has shown up on screen and in in magazines for sure mm. okay in a swimsuit it's i think to some extent the emancipation of the indian woman who says i'm um, i'm this beautiful girl who works out takes care of her body is financially independent and here we go which earlier it you know it was i think a little more closeted from that point of view and the, so we i think to some extent he believes we've changed the mindset and been partially responsible for that the way um what what many would would say rumors or gossip or the way it is just just totally tuned in uh, it's like that uh, that um, the photographers and uh, say for example king fish of example you you're having 12 uh, 12 calendar girls so what sort of 5 to 6 5 to 6 uh, what sort of uh, in, in fact conflict is it between them that they have to uh, how how should they they, they get the attention of of At- atul gas baker um is it is do you have stories that you've kept for a for a book or something like that the cat fights and <laughs> let's be uh, honest but you know it, it must be like a, there, there, must, there must be a lot of interesting stuff uh, i'm sure that 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 must have happened that that you must have experienced yourself 
Um, We've seen them making videos of yeah. of, of Kingfisher. Um, the the way you in, interact, it, it's it's good fun. It, it's, yeah. it's good fun. It's good fun. Absolutely. It's a it's a job. Yeah, it's a nice mm. job. Mm. But uh, must be. Yeah. Must but, be. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a job. I'll tell you an interesting thing. We shot mm. in Ladakh. Mm. Okay, and um, we had a large unit because we were traveling all over. Mm. And those guys clearly, you know, so there were cooks and helpers and spot boys and so on. So on the day on day one, you could sense this great amount of you know uh, buzz mm. in the crew that they were going to see a girl in a swimsuit. Mm. And there was this, and the girls were slightly terrified of there are these uh, fifty men around who are you know who are not the normal crew mm. and who are going to be there. But you need coffee, tea, khana, wana. We have to take cooks everywhere. Mm. So. Uh, on the first day, everyone's in bathrobes, and only when you're completely ready, Atul, you tell me, okay, you know. And the guys are also looking. You could see that thoda nudge, nudge, wink, wink. leering, and everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm not joking. Seriously, mm. and this is I'm witness. Please. Like four o'clock on the same day, day mm. one. Okay, those guys are not looking at the girls anymore. He is walking on the thing, Madam Chai, you know, and she's going whatever. She's sitting like this, maybe smoking a cigarette, you know, and. Uh, you know, nobody cared anymore. So after a while, that whole bit of oh my God, there's a girl in a swimsuit, goes like this. Then it just yeah. Then it's a job. So after you've seen her half a dozen times, then what's to see? You know what I mean? Then our job is to make her look. They look that good because they are that comfortable. You know, and that's important. I think from the makeup person to the hair person, the stylist, me, my assistants, everybody gives them such a cocoon of comfort and warmth and confidence. Absolutely. That it radiates in their eyes. And the reason mm -hmm. the calendar has worked is because we've treated them so well. Mm. The UB group and Kingfisher have gone out of their way in terms of expense. I can tell them I need to do this, and they trust me enough to say, "Go for it, done." You know, it's like mm. a one window. Whatever, all payments come, uh, you know, peacefully. There's no issue at all on any front, and they really, really go out of it, you know, to take care of people. I mean, we've had chartered flights, helicopter rides, all kinds of nonsense. If I want to send them on a uh, go, enjoy the city, go for it. No, like no stress at all. It's wonderful. Okay, um, now what, what is the best part about being a fashion photographer? That no two days are the same. Okay. No two days are the same. I could shoot somebody for the 100th time and it's a different experience. Mm. And it depends how they woke up, what they ate, are they in a good mood, are they in a bad mood. So you need to adjust yourself to uh, this entire thing. And the other nice thing is that, and my dad told me this, which is quite interesting, is he said, you know, vanity appeals to everybody. Whether it's the prime minister or whether it's the boy serving you coffee, or if they get a good picture of themselves, mm. you have a great power over them. So mm. if they know that this man can make me look good, they will be extraordinarily nice to you. So then, even if it's the PM, if I've taken a great picture of the PM, suddenly the PM has regard for, you know, for what it is that you've done. So mm. everybody, everybody wants to see a nice picture of themselves, and I can make you look good, Absolutely. just as just as most sure. of my colleagues are. So that's the wonderful thing because I know. I can have a power over you. Do you, do you feel that uh, digital photography it has made made things easier somehow? How, how is it affected? I think uh, what's what's happened is I think it's made the process more democratic. Hmm. I think anybody with any kind of camera now can on a given day take a terrific shot. So hmm. it's made the process much wider. I read an interesting statistic that in the last two years, right. two years or three years, more pictures have been taken in the last two or three years than in the rest of civilization. Mm. So imagine that, and that number is only going to get crazier because of smartphones and the camera that you have. And the Absolutely. cameras are going to get better and better on smartphones. Right. So uh, you could maybe someday shoot assignments on them. People are already shooting short we, films. We, on we, them. We've done it actually. You know, we, we went to uh, we we we've been to many countries and uh, there have been okay, occasions. Click, click. No, we, we've taken videos uh, yeah, in exactly. Egypt so, uh, for yeah. Sphinx and everything. We're not allowed to use the proper camera, uh -huh. so we actually did it with the and we used it. Uh -huh. And it's got a very good camera. Yeah, this so, one has got a very and I've seen camera. student movies and stuff which are pretty yeah. damn good. Ma yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I think the process music videos have been shoot, people correct. are shooting music videos and that. So you know the process has become democratic. So everybody has a shot at doing something nice visually. Mm. So it's opened up dimensions. Then because of the low light conditions that you can get some outstanding results mm. with digital photography of course on higher end uh, the cameras mm. is um, you know the process of lighting which was a big deal has become that much more easier you know now of course the talented people will use the medium i have always believed that a typewriter is never going to write a novel by itself 
Absolutely. You know, तो भले आपको पूरा इक्विपमेंट दे दें बट यू नो इफ यू डोंट नो डू विद इट इट डजेंट मैटर यू नो एंड देल बी समबडी विल टेक द ब्रोकन डाउन पीस ऑफ इक्विपमेंट एंड क्रिएट अ मास्टर पीस लाइक सम लाइक प्रबुद्ध दास गुप्ता फॉर एग्जांपल द मोस्ट बेसिक इक्विपमेंट एज अ फोटोग्राफर बट ही प्रोड्यूस्ड मैजिकल मैजिकल वर्क विद यू नो विद दैट सो आई थिंक इवेंचुअली इट्स द आई आई बिलीव यू यू बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ रियलिटी शो फॉर फॉर जस्ट सर्चिंग फॉर न्यू टैलेंट एज़ वेल um so what is it that 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 you feel that uh, you would look for 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 a new model or a, or a new talent you know i'm going to take a few things for granted ki you're in good shape mm. because today everybody is in good shape okay mm. and you look beautiful and you have nice hair and you have long legs and da 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 right. at the end of the day there is an x factor to people mm. that is going to separate you from lots of other pretty faces mm. and if you see all the people you know who've been who've been successful had an x factor early on you know and you mm. could see that there was something different about them and there was something uh whatever and only today what i can only tell people who um, need some friendly advice is your uh, family is not the best person to tell you that you can be a superstar mm. you know so it's all okay to have a dream mm. you know but you should give yourself a certain cut off that if it doesn't happen by this amount of time mm. then maybe this is not for me you know mm. i find too many people struggling for too long when mm. maybe it's not for them so you should have a realistic cut off and say yaar itne time mein nahi hua to mm. perhaps this is not the field i should be in Mm. and too many people take too long to figure that out so don't ask your family whether because they only think you're beautiful and fabulous and yeah, absolutely <laughs> so i think you should ask some people who you have some proper proper proper, proper credits yeah. actually okay now um you are one of the very few um in fact photographers who who actually have been part of ad films yourself you you've been part of ad films in terms of as, as a model and um, now is it something that that you enjoy like uh, being in front of the camera because you you seem quite comfortable in front of the camera you know i faced it enough time so it doesn't really mm. uh, like bother me but it's not something that i'm dying to do honestly mm. and if something uh, comes my way where all the boxes are ticked mm. then uh, i'm happy to do it so for example i did the zylo commercial with anand mahendra you know okay. the anand mahendra called me he's an old friend he said listen we were thinking of um, this he gave me an explanation he's, and uh, he said um, uh, the script works because it's been thought of with you If you say no, we'll scrap mm. the script. Mm. So it's not like we have a plan B. So they close. Now it's Anand. You know, I knew the people making it. Mad Films was doing it. Mm. Manchanda is a good friend. Mm. So I said, "Chalo." I said, "Yeah, to sambale ga na, please." Sunil Manchanda. Yeah. So right. he said, "Yeah, don't worry." So so sure. I did. It. So I'm endorsing uh, the. I'm a friend of the brand for Carl F. Bucher. I, I, mm. I like I like watches. So you know, mm. so it's nice. They they take me to Switzerland once every other year and whatever. Go right. look at more beautiful watches. Take good right. care of you. Have a picnic. So fantastic. Okay, Atul, uh, we are having this uh, this brief, brief rapid fire with you. So let's let's have a let's see that uh, you have the gift of the gab actually. Uh, so let's get the best out of you. If you have to choose any one actress to click pictures of from the entire Bollywood fraternity, which actress that would be and why? If you have to choose one actress, you are going to kill me with this question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah so okay so I'll answer this actually and uh, I think uh, the answer would be Malaika Arora Khan Malaika Arora Khan mm. why because I don't think there's been anyone made uh, more for the camera than her she's fantastic you have yeah. to point the camera roughly in a direction and the camera will focus on its own or either dekh ke aap shoot karo aur har ek photo will be bang fantastic on. she's okay. fantastic she is the best model india has ever produced for a still camera wow wow okay uh, it's 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 a good start to the rapid fire Uh, an actor and actress you had most fun clicking pictures of, and one actor or actress who bit your head off while shoots. <laughs> so we've started well, so we are hoping that actor good fun to shoot with. Actually, honestly, they're all quite chilled out, but it's always fun to shoot with Shahrukh because he's very low maintenance, and uh, you know he lets you do your job, mm. and uh, you know he's not fussy, so you know he's uh, it's it's always nice because you know he fada fada get we get remarkable amounts of work done. And we've done. I've done lots of his hard mm. work. Uh, actress, 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 actress. actress. Uh, it's a it's a delight to shoot with Sonam because she's a chameleon. She can look different mm. in every single thing, and because she's so into fashion, right? Um, it's actually quite fabulous because you know that there'll be some surprise. An actor and actress that that you've not had a good time shooting. I can't possibly answer that, but you can skip it if you want. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> <So> <laughs> According to you, who has the most photogenic face in Bollywood? Uh, apart from Malaika, any anyone else you, you feel that who is the most photogenic? See, if they are stars, it's because they're photogenic. You know, um, 
but uh, I'd have to say someone. I think Arjun Rampal. Arjun Rampal? Yeah, I think he's a devastatingly handsome face. Mm. So and has been from the beginning of his career. Means he's a genuinely good-looking man. You, mm. know, you can look at him and say, "Ki yar, ye to hai perfect." Mm. And he's maintained himself very well. Yeah, yeah, he's in terrific shape. And, mm. you know, right. Mm. Okay, weirdest thing done by a model while photo shoot? Any, any, any weird thing that that any model has done? During a photo shoot? Mm. Yeah, we were shooting in the middle of the ocean. Mm. Uh, some underwater shots. Mm. And uh, then, so which is a big exercise because you know you have the cameras in one big case, and you know, and you have divers with you, and you go under and she, she, and whatever. So it's a bit complicated. And uh, the stylist saw the pictures, and she said, "No, no, I don't like the swimsuit." So the model says, "Okay, nobody go into the water, please. Throw me the swimsuit." And she changes into a swimsuit, which for a middle class Maharashtrian boy for me was completely shocking. So nobody saw anything because she was underwater. She went underwater and she came up in the new swimsuit. And I'm like, ये तो यार कमाल हो गया। That's very interesting. Okay, a moment from the history of Bollywood that you missed to click on your camera. Anything that you've feel? Yeah, there are lots. Yeah. Anything mean, that you know? I personally think that I mean, I got into photography because I enjoyed shooting faces. Mm. So I think of myself more deeply as a portraitist. Mm. And uh, there are lots of people on my list that I did not shoot, which is a great tragedy. And interesting faces. I mean, from uh, JID Tata to a friend of mine called me and said, next month, if you come to South Africa, I can get you to shoot Nelson Mandela. For whatever reason, I could not go. This is mm. about ten years back, and I'm thinking to myself, what an idiot! Means I could have, should have just cancelled everything that there was there mm. and and gone, you know. And that would have been so, something. Yeah, I mean, just not. I mean, imagine to meet Matiba. You know what I mean? I mm. mean, it's like. You can die in peace, thinking that you met one of the greatest human beings ever to arrive. Absolutely, live on absolutely. And then after that, I tried, but that opportunity was lost. Mm. So things like this are both sad. If made an aviation minister for a day, what would be one thing that you'd like to change? I would hugely reduce the aviation fuel taxes. They're ridiculous. Most of the airlines that have gone under has been because of the crazy uh, fuel taxes. Fuel taxes that. Because we see aviation as a luxury, you know, it is actually the fastest and safest way to get from A to B. Mm. So, you know, the more democratic that is, the more airlines you can have, the more people can get from A. To B. And it should not be something that is perceived. As, you want to take a private jet, of course, no problem. But I'm saying for commercial flights, it should mm. really we should knock that down. Okay, um, if you have to describe the following celebrities in one word, Malaika, delicious. Sohnam, uh, intensely loyal. Hmm. Deepika. Deepika, 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 Deepika. Let's see. Lovely. Uh, Katrina. Genuine. Genuine. Yeah. But those who know her, she's a very genuine, straightforward, warm person. If biopics and following celebrities uh, have to be made, then what do you think the title of these films should be? Salman Khan. What should be the title of the biopic for Salman Khan? I did it my way. I did it my way. Okay, Shah Rukh Khan. Um, from nothing to everything. Wow, that's nice. That's... Amitabh Bachchan. Um. Never give up. Never give up. Akshay Kumar. <laughs> Akki, uh, that would have to be the ultimate khiladi or something. Ultimate khiladi. Hmm. But don't you think too many people must have already? Too many. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something cleverer for that. But hmm. other than khiladi, because now I think Correct. he he's more than khiladi now. What the sort of think, movie choices that he's doing? I think right now he's AK-47. AK-47. Yeah, I like people with the same initials. Abdul Kazmi. Okay. Okay. Deepika Padukone. For her movie? Yeah. Biopic on. Uh, Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision. Okay. Uh, Shahid Kapoor. For his biopic. Hmm. Here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. Here, there. Okay. Hey, there and everywhere. Is that too clever? I don't know. No, it's 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 interesting actually. Yeah. You like to write as well? 
I'm a closet writer. I've written a few pieces for fun. Okay, so yeah. can you see like a book or something happening from you? Yeah, I even know the title if that book happens. What? Um, uh, it's uh, if a if a picture speaks a thousand. It's a very long title. Mm. Okay, so it occupies the whole page. But okay. so the title is if a picture spoke a thousand words, and I shot a million, then did I say too much? Then did I say too much? Got it. Okay, so. Um, How do you look I at know, I don't know who will buy that book after they read that title, but I'm just saying. Mm, what's in the name? 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 So, who's the real uh, Atul Kasbeka? What is one you know, passion that that really drives you forward? I, I think it. You're into social work as well with with more than other initiatives. I think it 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 varies. Uh, just in terms of, I just feel that uh, even the photography thing wasn't really planned. I was studying to be a chemical engineer. So mm -hmm. I think Madhavan's track in three idiots is actually my story. Achcha. Yeah. So I mean, not that they did it that way. I'm just saying that it was actually my story. Hai. Right. Uh, in my second year of chemical engineering in in uh, UDC, which was the best chemical engineering institute in India, I left because I didn't enjoy it, and I said I like taking pictures. And at that time, it was insane, you know. So, um, so a lot of it has happened by happy accidents, and I actually believe that I'm one of those chosen few. That someone up there says, "We are who mark the like the shah, who is who, who shows that." And things have constantly happened in my life that have led me to. Certain. Uh, so, things. your your, your fi finest passion, according to you, is is photography. I think I'll be mm. known for that. Uh, when I die, the first thing they'll say is he was a photographer. Mm. Then whoever else. Right, right. So. In fact, surprisingly, that there are many people that that that. Uh, in fact, I have come in contact with them the last few years, and they they really want to do something in in, in photography, and they're doing like in social work or like say they are in say data science or social sciences or other other places but photography is something that that they're really close to yeah which is uh, people in marketing and something that, that they show their pictures this is what we what we enjoy the most somehow so and i think uh, 3 idiots has done a yeah. it's bit somewhere yeah, yeah. No, just 100%. opening up for for people somewhere finally something about the music of nija as well because i think uh, it still hasn't come out but from what we've been hearing uh, we spoke to sonam she is very excited about uh, i believe on 7th you guys are launching some rock anthem or something like that what yeah. what, what, what exactly is it so called? there's a um, it's a promo song that's essentially um, you know for the generic idea of nirja mm. okay it's not in the film but we've used it uh, it's more of a rock uh, an anthem which talks to the kids and i think it's um, along the lines of a a uh, happier version of sadha hak which i think i i love okay so rockstar yeah um and sadha hak is a is a more angry space you know mm. that this is uh, aankhe milayenge dar se and um, everybody has fears it's a rock song yeah it's it's it goes into more of a um rock ballad kind of uh, vibe mm. remember this name vishal khurana he is some 26 years old one happy boy living in the suburbs and he's Honestly, one of the most talented musicians I've come across. Mm. So he's done the music, and Prasoon uh, Joshi has been kind enough to uh, like write the lyrics for us. And uh, uh, Ram has overseen this uh, uh, whole process. Ram Madhwani. Madhwani. And uh, um, we're quite excited about just the way the music has turned out because logically, if someone told you there's a, a film on a hijack drama, you're not going to think that there's really scope for music. So it's all OST, and you know. Um, in the background and is it not like a difficult film to film to promote because uh, uh, you're not having too much of like say romance happening and uh, you can't be going into dream I, space i honestly think there's a space for uh, which is really i think a long different conversation i honestly think looking from the outside in i'm not part of the club you know i'm i'm looking from the outside and i really think that there is a market now for people who want to watch a different movie mm. in fact in airlift which i liked a lot i think the only thing airlift did not need was that opening song that the the song yeah there was no need for it at all mm. in to me and let's say 5 years ago you needed a song like that if you took i completely believe that i don't think anyone came to the theater to see that song mm. okay whereas maybe a lot of people came to the theater to see my name is sheila you know so today they today they've come to see akshay kumar in a very very good film mm. you know and 
it's not that song that brought you in there. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. It's unnecessary. So I honestly think that there's that there's a market. Of, there's never been a film done like this. It's it's about uh, an Indian heroine that we seem to have forgotten. You know, which we should not forget. Mm. And um, no other person that we in all the research we've done has got a bravery award from America, Pakistan, and India. Mm. And we don't seem to remember who this girl is. That's unbelievable. Mm. You know, you think about it. in the history of the Indian Republic, this is the youngest Ashok Chakra awardee at the age of 23. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. In all the years since 1947 to now, we haven't had a case like this. Mm. That's amazing. Okay, uh, an actor like Shabana Azmi, why will why will she consent to to doing this film? Because she's obviously uh, even at 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 this stage, she will always be a jazba, be a chalk and duster. She's having some some really substantial meaty roles. What is it in? She in, has a uh, terrific role, and I'm telling you, she'll be nominated for um, best supporting for this. I didn't. I always knew Shavana. What sort of awards? Actress. What sort of awards? From the national award to anything else, she is uh. unbelievable in this movie. Because I am so so the grateful. The other awards these days is agreed. like people have lost credibility in terms of the other awards. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, mm. but I think at the national award level, if she doesn't get a nomination, you know, it would be a travesty of justice. She sure. is. I'd. I did. I knew her. I didn't know her as well. We've got to know each other on the set. and uh, i mean better on the set and she is really is somebody as an actor who should be treasured she is incredible yeah, absolutely they, they absolutely. you have no idea what she's done the movie she's mm. just taken it to another level mm. and i was the one who was fighting for you know let's take shamana ji to do this and i'm so grateful i sent her the script and it's the script she read it and she called the family because she knows them mm. and the year before the nija bhanot award she was the chief guest coincidence completely you know sure. and uh, so she said so she knew them she called uh, akhil and anish and said aapne sachmuch mein rights diye hain so i said ha ji diye it's okay she said okay i'll do it i said ma'am we have very little money to pay you but we'd love to do it we can't think of anyone else mm. she said i'm not even questioning what you're paying me i want to do this mm. no, she no, had no. one meeting with ram adwani and ram and she had a tuning rock and roll great um finally atul it's been it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, in fact we've uh, at bollywood angama we've we've known you very closely for for a long time now uh you, you have a very i think close association with uh, with suleiman mubani yes yes uh so could you could you please tell us something about your association with with suleiman mubani suleiman i've, I've known him for ages uh, they've been involved uh, in lots of interesting ideas uh i've had lots of uh, interesting discussions with uh, him and with neeraj and you know on uh, on various fronts and uh mostly in the stock usage and you know uh, amplification of any stock material lying with us on on stars and whatever mm. and usage on that on various uh, media platforms which is a wonderful avenue for photographers to you know get some more income on work they've done already in the past mm. because our ip laws are s- such a mess once it's gone somewhere then it's gone so this is nice when there's you know some kind of uh, and i'm only drawing a parallel on what's happening abroad so mm. my my you know my contemporaries abroad on work they've done once they still own it and uh, if it gets used 5 years later they'll still get a small check so that has started out here which is great if it had happened 20 years ago i would have retired so <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, atul it's, it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, looking forward to neerja and uh, all your future ventures i'm sure that they'll be terrific because uh, you have your entire uh, in fact uh, uh, more than the commerce i think uh, is the idea that that and the and the writing idea that you that you're keen on which i'm sure that is always like a good good thing for a long terms long term sort of planning yeah. well hope so thank you so much thanks a lot thank, thank you pleasure that's all we have from bollywood rangama keep on watching